As I look at the place called the Badagri, and I begin to see what's called the lands, they are being somehow by government begin to out, a, a, a kind of mapped out, mapped out for what's called projects. And I see what's called seaport, and not just a seaport. I see what's called a, what's called project that are mapped out, and people were like, "Oh, how can it be? This project and this is mapped out. We are the owner of land, blah blah blah." And in the realm of the physical, I see the lands that are now retrieved and given to the government to make use of, to make use of right whatever I'm saying, because in the realm of the physical. I see them coming to pass. I see them coming to pass. And the reason why the Lord will always not keep us in darkness, the Lord will want us to know the truth. And the Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth you know will surely set you free. The reason why freedom will come is when you know the truth. The truth you know will bring freedom. And then you see yourself now that what you know is what now begin to work for you. So major prophet of God has been given what's called revelation and insight to be able to carry you along and also continue to prophetically take you on the pedestrian of understanding the handwriting on the wall. So we continue to pray for people who are in Lego state because as I saw last week and I prophesied last week and it did not finish within last week what I prophesied on Wednesday begin to happen. We must also continue to pray for people in Lagos State again. Rakatos in the Bratakato. And you must continue to pray for people who are in Lagos State. Let them understand what's called understanding what is called the power of change. That's what's called change coming to Lagos State. So everybody in Lagos State must sit up and stand well and pray. I'm giving you this revelation because they are all going to begin to happen. Uniforms and the people who are right there that have different properties should now begin to put their house in order. People should begin to put their house in order because I am seeing what's called what's called what's called increment in what's called in what's called taxation taxation and increment here and there. So these things are what is going to happen. But there's going to be what's called cooperation. And when the cooperation and the rest of them are taking place, it is actually going to turn to blessing. It's not going to be for evil because all things work together for good to them that love God. We need to get to the love of God the more and the more in our lives. We need to love God the more. And when we love God the more, God continues to give us Victory. Don't forget the song that says, He has given me victory. I will lift him higher. Jehovah, I will lift him higher. He has given me victory. I will lift him higher. Jehovah, I will lift him higher. Give me victory. I will lift him higher. Jehovah, I will lift him higher. Amen. Finally, so the aspect of what the Lord has laid as a burden in my heart. This very burden is important that I throw it to you, the sons and daughters of God. It's regarding the project of Glorious Mount of Possibility Church Auditorium. The reason why the Lord has asked me to come out and let you know about this is because this is going to be a point of contact to people who are ready to say, I'm going to be part of that project, this project that is going on in the house of God. The Lord has shown me, he said, you will not only pray and prophesy to the people, you need to talk to the people, the sons and daughters and all the people all over the world, that something is going on, glorious amount of possibility. We are under the church auditorium construction. We are building and this building that is going on, a lot of people's miracle, a lot of people's blessing are going to be tied to it. And was said, let your sons and daughters now be aware of them, aware of the project going on. In any way, in any form, they want to be part of it. They want to be part of it is giving us one thing or the other for the materials, for the construction engineers, for financing or whatever 
the Lord lays in your heart. The Lord said, let everybody be part of the project. Decide within yourself and make your decision in this project that is going on. I want to be part of it. The account number of the church remains one account number that will be used for the project. Whatever you are putting there for the project, you write it for the project of the church building of Glorious Mount of Possibility Church. We cannot keep waiting to say, oh, we are carrying down like that on our own. The Lord said, I should throw it open to you so that you will be part of the project because any cover or shishi, whatever that you put in towards this project will come back to you beyond your thinking and imagination. It is going to also be that God has given you opportunity to build his house and there's no how you will build the house of God and remain the same. So every one of you that are interested in this very church building to support the work of God in any form, in any way, God has given us grace all this while. We are able to you know, have a way to be doing the service and the church and going on is a thing of blessing. Now that we want to make the construction and the building of the house of God perfect and fair, Anyhow, the Lord has laid in your heart. There's no amount that is too much for the building of the house of God. And there's no amount that is too small that is the building of the house of God. If I take you outside and show you so far what has been done and what is going on, you will really know that yes, good and big project is going on in the house of possibility. So whichever way the Lord has laid in your hand, make sure that you are part of this building God will surely bless you and multiply you and catapult you to the next level in Jesus' name. Another thing that the Lord is laying in my heart is to say to all of you, sons and daughters, from wherever you are and you're watching, from wherever you're connected with us, that His blessings and His plans and His purpose in your life is never in vain. It's never in vain. Everything that you are doing regarding the work of God is never in vain. They are all going to come back to you in a million fold. And as they are coming back to you, you will know that of a truth, you are dying with the Lord God Almighty. Nobody dies with the Lord God Almighty and remain the same. Thank you and God continue to bless you as a support in the project of God's house. Every support you give Toward this project, if it does not come back to you, that God will use it to build your life, to favor you, to prosper you, know that major prophet of God is not called by the Lord. God bless you and thank you for watching. And then another thing that I want to talk about right now is what is called the movement of what is going to happen after the inauguration that is coming forward. I see in the realm of the spirit, and this is what is called a state of emergency, declared on the areas of what's called the power, electricity. This is what's called state of emergency, declared on the area of power, electricity. And I see what is called what is called what is called an urgent attention to so many infrastructures. Ah, people should rejoice. People should be happy. For God has decided to answer our prayers. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why people may not see what Major Prophet is seeing. Because when Major Prophet is looking in the realm of the spirit, what I see, I don't know why people don't see exactly the way the Major Prophet of God is seeing it. Because what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit is what is going to come to the physical reign. And I want every Every one of you to be part of this blessing that is coming. Don't say, oh, this, that, that. When the people of God cried and prayed to God, God heard our prayer. <laughs> but the way God has heard our prayer is not the way we think because the thought of men are different from the thought of God. When a man is going this way, the Lord can decide to go that way and still meet you where you're going because the Lord is God Almighty. We are prayed and we are crying unto God and God said, he has heard our prayer. I don't know who is about to do this. I don't know why this is coming off and often to make your brother God. But what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a great Positivity and great open door. I am seeing the Lord now answering the prayer of the common people. Oh my God, oh my God. And people begin to eat in plenty. And people begin to rejoice in plenty. And people begin to say, oh, we never know it was going to be like this. And God has proved to the people and the world that his ways are not the ways of man. 
Maybe major prophet of God is the only man sounding this way. But as I'm sounding this way, go and take your Bible and your pen and pencil it down. Because everything that the Lord has used me to say, you will see them coming to pass one by one. Because He is God. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord, He's the Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess, that Jesus Christ is the Lord, that wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name. No, all the name I know, I know he is the Lord, he's the Lord, he's the Lord, Amen. He has risen from the dead, he is the Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue. Emmanuel, 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 there is no one like you, Emmanuel, I say there is no one like you, Emmanuel. 